What's up guys and welcome back to my channel and a new video. We're in the gym because today we're gonna get to the bottom of why we don't see progress in our shoulder training. So today we're gonna make the shoulders bolder. Yeah, you feel me? Yeah. <laughs> So today, yes, yes, today, yes, okay. Today we're gonna go through the common mistakes we do in the gym when training shoulders. Walking you through all the exercises, the most common exercises. Hopefully I can help you see the small changes we can do to make the progress big as big. Explode. Explode. Make your shoulders explode. That's what we're here for today. So before we even begin, to train shoulders. We have three golden rules. First one, keep shoulders down and relaxed. Like, we don't want this. We wanna have a relaxed form of the shoulders. And then we wanna have the chest up. So open up all this. We don't want to stand like that and to do stuff, you know? We wanna have a open your chest up, keep shoulders down and then contract your scapula in the back so we have a straight posture even when you are standing or seated we want a straight posture with shoulders down first exercise guys which is the seated dumbbell press we're gonna work from this up so when it looks wrong we have the dumbbells we have them here we are a little bit too a little bit more front rotated in your posture and then you push up and it's just like I don't have any balance and when I go up I lock out the elbows and then down and also most common is to push your shoulders back too much so I feel the only thing I feel now is the stretch in this area when I'm supposed to be here most people are here I try to have the angle in 90 degrees and you think about that more than you think about doing the exercise correct because when I'm doing it like this I don't have to lock my elbow out but if I am here and I'm pushing straight up it's just like it clicks out without me even doing anything also a really common mistake when you are doing the seated dumbbell press is that you're loading up the weights too much for you to be able to handle the weights and you do half reps so when you're doing the seated press, you don't have to go all the way down, but we wanna have, like we wanna have it from kind of a dead stop. So almost like in this, we'll say is a really good way to stop and then push straight up. But if you have two heavy weights, you do this. And I'm losing the tension of this down to this. It's really heavy, like from this to push up, that's the most, like you're losing the most important part. So we wanna have a full rep from up to down, up. Do you be able to build the shoulders? Whew. Rest please. Exercise number two, which is my favorite one. And this is the lateral raises. I always have one kind of lateral raises when I am training my shoulders because that exercise is the best one when you wanna build the shoulders older. Most common mistake you are doing when you're doing lateral raises. We're gonna get to the bottom of this now, okay? So the most common mistake is that you are standing and swinging. Like in this way, some people are on the toes as well, doing this and like, it's not doing anything for your shoulders. So we wanna isolate the shoulders. We wanna isolate the outside of the shoulder. Down with your shoulders. And your chest should be up. Up with your chin, if that helps you. And then we wanna lift straight out. You don't have to go further up than this. You don't have to be up here. Because this will give you a lot of tension as well. You don't have to, like, your arm should not be completely straight. A tip for you is that just turn, turn this one, pinky up. So we're just gonna do a little turn with the pinky up and lift like that, okay? And lift, shoulders down, relax, and press your scapula together in the back. 
chin up and go. And of course, when you're training your shoulders, from time to time you have to like challenge yourself and you have to raise the weights. So from time to time you will have a little swing going on, but don't let the swing over, like take over the whole exercise. So if you're new, I would say that it's a really good tip to just start seated, lower the weights, because now I can't, I can't do like, I can't get the swing to work in the same way and I can't use my body. So straight back, shoulders down and chest up and then just lift with pinkies up to the ceiling once again and you just lift and work up the strength when you are seated and then load up the weights and stand up third exercise is the upright rolls and this is also exercise that is really good for the outside of your shoulder so now when we are talking about building muscles your form of how you perform the exercise is so freaking important like I can go into the gym I can take a weight and I can just like max out everything that I do but in the end do I feel the exercises in my muscles do I feel the exercises working and do I think through my muscles do I have the muscle connection and the muscle mind going for example when we're doing the upright rows common mistake is that once again your shoulders and your traps is like tension in your traps and you're lifting like this and you can see that like I only feel this in my traps and it doesn't matter how many reps I do I will still feel it in my traps so do you see the difference of doing this to lowering shoulders relax shoulders scapula back chest up and then just lift straight up another really common mistake when you're doing the upright rows is to like if you look at my hand wrists I'm like I'm lifting with the hand wrists and when I'm doing this the only thing I get tired in is this area right there and my elbows are also pointed down so we want to change this to this lift straight up the hands should just like they should just hold the weights what is lifting here is my shoulder my shoulder is the part that is supposed to lift up and I should have the elbow pointed up instead of down like this you can see the angle instead of that we want to have that straight up lifting with the shoulder straight up Next exercise is the front raises, also for front of your shoulder and the race should be in front of you, just raising up the weights. So really common mistake you're doing when you're doing front raises is that you have a little bit of two heavy weights going on maybe and you lose the tension. So it can look like this and you're like helping with your legs and you're just like swinging them up. Okay, so what we want to do here is to take control over the exercise. We want to lower, once again, shoulders down, scapula back, chest forward. And then we want to lift straight up. You don't have to go up here, because I have a lot of tension going on, just as it is here. And then down, and up, down. Control every single rep that you do, every rep counts. If you have problems with finding the right technique, a tip is to take both your hands and do a race with both your hands in the same time because then it's gonna be really hard for me to swing them up so I want to go from this to straight up stand straight straight back lift forward Oof. you can see that it's, it's hard <laughs> We're in the cable and we're gonna work on the back shoulders using the rope and doing a face pull.
pole. So what you want to aim for is because it's called a face pole. So you want to pull it against your face instead of doing a pull against your chest. If you want to target the back shoulders, you should be up here, not down there. Up there, pulling against your nose and then back. So instead of having your shoulders up and tension like in your shrugs and pulling down, you want to push your shoulders down, chest up, elbows up, going up, targeting this area, the back shoulder. We have one left, and this is the rear delts and the back of the shoulder. This muscle is a really, really, really small, cute little muscle, but we can't forget about it because the back shoulders and your rear delts is keeping your posture straight. Instead of going forward like a front rotate, we wanna have a straight posture, and this muscle is like, all you need to work on when you want to have your posture going strong. Most common mistake when you're doing this is also you have too much weight going on. So I'm gonna take too much weight first and doing this to up like this and you're just like swinging. Of course you will, you will feel it a little bit but if you're supposed to really isolate the back of your shoulder and your rear delts you want to go from this to this and I can't do that because this is too heavy so I'm picking smaller weights instead of doing this I want to turn like that and go out a little bit so I want to do this instead and like I have two kilos and this is heavy try to also have your back and your neck in a neutral like you should be neutral you should not be like this doing the exercise even if you have heavy weights or if you have light weights you want to have a neutral posture going from that place to straight up to target and to isolate the back of the shoulder so we want to target this one this muscle right there so guys we're done for today i really hope that this helped you when you are trying to build your shoulders wider don't be afraid of like doing wrong things in the gym because for me, I have been in this for a while. I've done every single mistake that is out there. And I'm only here to help you and to show you how small, small, small changes can make a big difference. So, thank you so much for watching, guys. Please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a video with my face. I've never said that in my life, ever. I see you in my next video, guys. Bye.